he wanted to have him donated to auction. So this is one of the things that's going to go up there on the auction that you can check out over there. Aloha, folks. As you guys may have heard by now, I imagine most of you have, the Tinley Reptile Expo got canceled. Um, I was already there in Chicago and just was like, oh, well, I guess the show's not happening now. So I just turned around, jumped on a flight, came home, got the fam. So we still do have a few more videos coming from Australia, including the Penrith Expo and lots of other cool animals that we found out there. But I just wanted to do this one because it's kind of fresh. Um, I'm actually at the Slow Reptile Expo or outside the Slow Reptile Expo that our local. Oh, hi, T. Can you say hi, but everybody missed you probably. Say hi. Hi, T. We're gonna go inside, check the show. It's the first one they've put on. I can already see a couple of familiar vehicles in the parking lot. Uh, we'll check out what animals are here and we'll take you guys to the first Slow County Reptile Expo. Coolest day ever. <laughs> Name's Mark Harvey, huge fan. Um, local here at Slow and uh, real big fan of Brian. Uh, him and my son. Huge fans. And he's the first person on the list for the Blood Python Clutch that might hash this year. So if you want to get on that list, you better hurry up because he already jumped on it. Get ready. <laughs> Love what he does. He kind of keeps taking his twisted gecko, but doesn't have the spikes on it. He like, can you say Chahua? Chahua. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandy Blue, and this is Coco, the three-banded armadillo. <laughs> you guys, want to take a look? You can pet her, see, feel that. How does she feel? Kind of bumpy. Kind of bumpy? I think she smells weird. Smell her? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> smells like hay. It smells like hay, yeah. Watch your walk. The big ones from the US, and then there's these guys. <laughs> her tail, look. Whenever she rolls up in a ball, that's her tail. But when she rolls up in a ball, she's really friendly. So let's see if we can get her to. See? That's so cool. Pretty cool, huh? That's like a kid. Yeah, hey, it's a little one. Any uh, better? Good. <laughs> yeah. Um. I got a claw. Mm-hmm. Is she a friendly one? She's saying hi. Did you see that? Mom. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a high five. <laughs> he gave me a this high five. This is Gatorade. Five. It's actually a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice and soft. He's furry. So this is actually my youngest one. Mm -hmm. Must be nice, right? Just be told you're be beautiful and get fed all the time. <laughs> yeah, this, is some, this is some Roman Emperor stuff right here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's yeah. hanging upside down. Mm -hmm, that's how he sees. Can you sit like that? You can do your best sloth pose? No. No? You like look up backwards. Also, hedgehogs do not believe in gravity. <laughs> Just walking off we'll the walk edge. right off. That desert hedgehog is an African one. Do you have any porcupine? I do, but he's too big to come. He's really, really big. What do you guys say for Brandy letting you check out all these animals? Thank you. You're welcome. I gotta go do a program on stage and then I'll be back. A uh, big thank you to Brandy for letting us check out the animals that are behind the scenes. If you guys don't already follow her Instagram page, you should be. I'll put a link down in the description below. She works with all kinds of cool animals over here. You'll see all kinds of cool stuff. And now, now Leia thinks she can hold every single animal here. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, thinking I could run around in there and properly document the show while trying to wrangle three kids. And uh, also when we were leaving Sydney to go into Brisbane, two days driving, I was sitting on the left side of the car with the window down and the wind was blowing past my ear the whole time. And now my left ear is closed up. I literally can't hear out of it and my balance is all off. So I'm making excuses, but it's a, they're good excuses. I'm gonna take these guys home because they're over it. We've seen what they wanted to see. We've seen, uh, and I can't, I can't wrangle. I can't. Wrangle. <laughs> but we're gonna come back tomorrow. The show is happening tomorrow, so we're gonna come back tomorrow, and I'll, I'll cover more of the show for you guys, so you can check it out. Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Reptiles. What about reptiles? That. All reptiles are cold-blooded. Most are carnivorous. Snakes and lizards are reptiles. 
and t tortoises are lizards with shells on their backs. And that's all I know. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? Eggs. What about eggs? That when they come out of a ammo, it hatches and it goes out and it grows up and it also eats, hunts, and it also hunts claws and toes. And that's all I know. All right, guys, before we get on to day two of the show, there's something really important I want to talk to you guys about. We were going to be holding a benefit auction there for Desiree and Lars. Um, the, the wife and child that Mr. Forrest Fanning left behind. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do that at Tenley because Tenley didn't happen. However, uh, Ryan and Erica have started up an auction group on Facebook. There's a link down in the description, and there's going to be lots of cool items up there, lots of awesome things, and everything is going to go to Desiree and Lars to, to, to Desiree and Lars to help with the loss of forest. So, um, including this animal right here, this is actually the last animal that was from Sangria's clutch, our blood python that laid her first clutch last season. Um, this was an animal that was actually picked up by my buddy Andrew Aidenbaum. However, he wasn't able to take uh, take this animal due to you know personal things and, and whatnot, but he wanted to have him donated to auction. So this is one of the things that's gonna go up there on the auction that you can check out over there. Also, this four probe Freedom Breeder thermostat is going to be on that auction as well. Also, this was gonna be for Forrest. This actually says, uh, see you in the Northern Territory. And I thought it was awesome. And I, I really, anyway, that's gonna be up there as well. Um, come, all right guys, let's, let's, uh, let's show the world how awesome our community is that even in a time when people are getting a little crazy and things are a little off kilter from our normal usual thing, we're, we're not the type that are just gonna go around hoarding toilet paper. We're still able to help each other out when other people are going down. So um, I'd appreciate it if you guys go check out the link down below worst you can do is check out what kind of items are up there and maybe there's something you really want and then it's going to benefit uh, benefit Forrest's family so I would really appreciate it if you guys want to check that out I'm going to go put my stuff up on that site right now up on the page again link is down in the description it's the first thing down there so uh, please go ahead and, and check that out and I'll bring you to day two of our slow reptile expo all right guys thank you one more important detail the auction actually started yesterday if you're watching this video the day that it came out and it's going to be running through the whole week, so you got time to put items up there. Um, all the information that you need to send if you want to donate will be in the group. You go to the group and you can find all the information you need there if you want to um, donate items to be auctioned off as well. So um, let's pull this together, guys. I'm hoping that we're going to do even better on this online auction than we would have done if we were actually at Tinley Park. Because people drop some big bucks at Tinley Park auction, man. So uh, I'm hoping that we'll do even better with, with this online platform, being able to have everybody involved. So please and thank you so we got reef and reptile co here my buddy mike who was letting uh eli hold that lizard yesterday and got a nice carpet python showing off people that snakes are cool hey too and of course we got zoomed who is the main sponsor of the show zoomed always has a great setup at every single reptile show i've ever been to but really want to highlight these guys because again they are the number one sponsor here they've got this nice look at this beautifully decorated enclosure man freaking sweet one of these times i think i'm actually gonna get to take you guys to the zoom ed facility which will be awesome but for now we'll check out their awesome booth i'd really like to start doing all of my enclosures like this and it's something i plan to actually work towards is having enclosures that that look like this. I just, I really like it. It's something I think I'll enjoy a lot more than the more uh, sterile systems that I have set up. Triple L is here. Got all kinds of crazy stuff going on in this booth. Always, they always have a huge booth at a lot of the shows I go to as well. Um, and they're here as well, here at the Slow Show. Oh, let's not forget Mr. Jimmy Cruz Ball Life. Look at that guy right there. Look at that big smiley face. <laughs> He's got his uh, Coco Blocks shaker on display. Coco Blocks ready to grab. Anybody who needs their Coco Blocks. Chunkiest substrate in the reptile industry. 
Jimmy's got Corona here at the show. Mild case. <laughs> it's a mild, mild case of Corona. I have all the stuff on Ball Life's table. This is the one that really stood out to me. It's the uh, the bread in captivity. Leucistic. It's a leucistic, uh, leucistic bread in captivity. <laughs> Got Dean's Reptiles and Rodents. There's Dean right there. Ba -boo! Yeah, you're on camera. Smile. Oh, this is the number one thing on their table. The coronavirus survival kit. Hand sanitizer and toilet paper. We got El Segundo Pythons, Jeff and Tori, and Seals. We got something really cool on this table. Oh, these guys hatched some Mexican beaded lizards. That's freaking sweet. We got the Unbelievables crew hanging out doing their thing they gave me this fancy t-shirt right here that i'm wearing today and yesterday i did take a shower but i put the same shirt back on check that out i think you look sexy in that beautiful shirt <laughs> <laughs> apparently this is the animal that's getting the most attention on the unbelievable table yellow belly pied those there we go i'm gonna go wash the back of my knuckles we got jim's house of retics all set up. Check what he's got here. We got some night. Oh, Laura's trying to run away. Can't. <laughs> What's up, bro? Motley Golden Child Mochino. Look at that snake right there, man. That thing is sick. Badass. Killer. Prehistoric Pets is here, showing off awesome snakes to kids. This is the number one thing that happens at shows in this county. Like the show we put on at the Slow Show is mostly about just showing kids really cool animals and. Um, cool to see these guys doing that. Also, if you guys don't know Laura Brewer, champion of a woman right there. And we got Jay over here too, making it happen. Showing people cool snakes. They're an awesome dinosaur they always bring to the shows in the back there. And of course we got my buddy Travis here, local, Living Legos Reptiles. You guys know him from my channel. If you don't watch, then maybe you don't, but if you do watch, you're guaranteed you know Travis. He is teaching some kids about snake skin. Well done, Travis. We got JFK Dragons here. Jimmy. These guys actually, uh, these guys travel all the way across the country for a lot of the different shows and just drive and, and make the trip. And it's good to see these guys at the show too. We got Bob's Odd Balls. Bob's Odd Balls. Let's see what oddball he's got on the table right now. Now that's an oddball right there. Mexican Black King. It's the oddest ball you'll probably ever see. I'll show you guys the price, but there's no price on it. Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> oh, we got AJ over here. AJ's Reptiles. Making sure to stay uh, well fed. It's important at these shows. Check this out. Paradox Pastel Highway here on AJ's table. That thing is sweet. You guys hear that noise in the background? We've got educational shows happening up on the stage as well. So. And we do encourage you guys to get a snake that's interesting and fun. Please remember that the same way that you guys have special things to make you happy and healthy at home, they have special requirements for themselves as well. We got millipedes and more, of course. This is where I got my, uh, these guys hooked me up with that spider, that curly hair that I take around to the shows right now for the kids and these guys are set up here talking to people educating people showing off cool bugs look at this display actually this is like a full-on it's like you're in an actual uh, store with these displays that's kind of nice and then of course we got my friends reptile mania if you guys remember them from the San Jose show they let me share their booth with them over there Jeff and Cindy awesome people always awesome always happy Always learning more, as much as possible in his downtime with his. <laughs> is it? Corona twist off? Since when? <laughs> I was like, I've never seen a twist off girl. Watch your face. Watch your face. Hey, my name is Mitch Solomon. Um, I'm here with the Chameleon Brothers, and I got one of my good friends here, Socks, a translucent veiled chameleon, also known as a pie bulb. Veiled chameleon. This is one of the four, uh, first uh, gene uh, mutations or morphs that they've hit in a chameleon in general. And they are extremely fascinating. What I really love about uh, this uh, mutation is that we're starting to learn that you can kind of selectively breed the certain patterns, the white arms, and kind of make symmetrical 
uh, designs through the generations of breeding them. Another cool thing is that you could put two translucent veiled chameleons together that have the, a very low amount of translucency, so just maybe the hands would be white, and you can create super translucents, ones that are almost all white. So it's really cool um, understanding it and figuring out how all the genetics work. Um, and I'm really excited to uh, keep exploring them. That's one thing that we do at the Chameleon Brothers. We're starting a YouTube channel. Um, it's going to be called Chameleon Brothers TV. And our Instagram is uh, Chameleon Brothers Official. Facebook, West Coast Chameleon Brothers. Have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed the coverage of the show. I'm headed out. After talking to some of the vendors, I, I know that some people didn't do as well as they were maybe hoping to at this show. I will say that we've, we've put on the uh, Slow Reptile Show here where there's not animal sales allowed. And that's maybe the only show the county has really known for the past while so the, the community out here or the uh, the population isn't used to going to a reptile show and being able to purchase animals so that that probably has something to do with it but I was talking to Travis and you know and something we've talked about with Garrett as well is that these shows is a good opportunity to to meet people and maybe some of the show, some of the sales you'll make will be after after the show so uh, it is the first one to happen in the county that I know of where you can actually go and buy animals so um, hopefully the next one will be good. I'm glad that this actually happened because chances were it could have got canceled. So we got lucky that it even happened in the first place. But um, uh, I'm happy that it did. And great job to everybody who's at the show and, and made it a success and had a lot of people through the doors. Uh, and here, here's to having a slow reptile expo number two next year. Um, yeah, guys, hope you're having a great day. And back to the Australia stuff on the next video. Later. Later.